Hi, this is Carol Hornet with the One Take Work, Love, Play Daily Video Blog. And I just finished my presentation at the Orange County Employee Benefits Council, where I talked about why marathoners get fat, sumo wrestlers are healthy, and you can get fit playing the piano. And I just realized I should have my sunglasses off. And uh, I did hula hoop during my presentation as requested. And when I was trying to figure out how do you make an analogy between health and statistics and hula hooping, I came up with four things that I thought was important about hula hooping and important about health and statistics and other various topics that we talked about. And here's the four things I came up with. And the first is that size does matter. And when that comes to hula hooping, the hula hoop, as I've described before, needs to go from your floor to the solar plexus, which is way bigger than anybody thinks. But it did make me think, too, that with behavior and behavior change and health programs, we need to have the right size for people. It can't be too small and it can't be too big. It's just like in Goldilocks, it has to be just right. Secondly, um, direction matters. And what I mean by that is that when you hula hoop, a lot of people think that you're supposed to move your hips and lower body in a circle. And actually what you need to do is you need to, need to do it either forward and back or side to side. Because the momentum when you thrust, basically, the hula hoop carries it around to either from your front to your back or your side to your side. And if you go in a circle, you um, are misapplying force, uh, which actually gets me to, which I mean, frankly doesn't make the hoop spin. And then the third thing, which gets me to the third thing is, which is that the direction and the, and the size of the force is important. And what I see is a lot of employers wanting to do disincentives. There's this huge move toward disincentives and almost punishment. And I think force largely doesn't work in behavior and behavior change. Uh, and if you do, quote unquote, use force or disincentives, then you need to package them as a positive. So instead of saying that you're penalizing people who are overweight or obese or don't exercise, you say that you're rewarding people who are. But I would say that uh, force uh, shouldn't be a, uh, is, is misdirected if you're trying to force people and that the most effective force is the one that the person chooses themselves. And the fourth one is the same fourth point I use in my four things that you need to know about health and disability. And that's that you just simply need to bend your knees, lean forward, and enjoy the ride. And if this isn't fun, nobody's going to do it. And the one thing about hula hooping, it's fun. As I have been told by Janet McNichol, you can't help but smiling when you hula hoop. And you can't help but smiling when you surf when you're by the ocean. So this is Carol Harnett with the One Take Work, Love, Play Daily Video Blog saying to remember that size matters, that the direction, that your direction matters, that the force you apply or misapply can lead to a positive or negative outcome, and that you have to remember to have fun. Hope you're having a great work day, you're experiencing a lot of love, and that you remember to play. Bye.